gradation basically based on four laws. One is called as Planck's law, second is called as Stephen Boltzmann, then this one is called as Wayne's law and the fourth one is Kirchhoff law. Planck's law gives you monochromatic emissive power which is Eb lambda equal to C1 into lambda to the power minus 5 divided by e to the power C2 by lambda t and minus 1 where C1 is constant and constant C2 is the Stephen Boltzmann's law gives you the total emissive power of a black body which was obtained by integration of Eb lambda into D lambda from 0 to lambda and is given sigma into t to the power 4 where sigma is called as Stephen Boltzmann constant. This is a graph of Eb lambda versus lambda and it is observed that this graph will change like this at a particular temperature t. At this point the monochromatic power is maximum. So Eb lambda is max. The corresponding value is called as lambda. The value of lambda ranges from 0 to infinity. Epsilon is the area under this diagram. That is the total emissive power. And this value is maximum at this point where d by d lambda is equals to 0. So this is the condition at which your emissive power is maximum. This is solved by Wien's law. And if you solve this derivative, you will get lambda m into t equals to 2.898 into 10 to the power minus 3 is meter Kelvin. So one law gives the distribution. Second law that is Stephen Boltzmann's law give the area under that diagram that is called as total emissive power and Wien's law give the condition for maximum emissive power that is Eb lambda max using the condition lambda m into t equals to 2.89 2.898 into 10 to the power minus 3. Kirchhoff law says that emissivity is same as absorptivity. So these are the four laws used in radiation. Number 1 is black body. So for black body what is the value of epsilon is 1. Emits radiation at 2000 Kelvin. The temperature of body is 2000 Kelvin. Calculate monochromatic emissive power at wavelength equal to 1 micron. Lambda is 1 micron. We want to find out monochromatic emissive power that is Eb lambda. Then we want to calculate the wavelength at which emission is maximum that is lambda m that is we have to use Wien's law and we want to calculate maximum emissive power. C2 answer is Eb lambda is 2.81 10 to the power 11 watt per meter square. Next thing you have to calculate lambda m for this we use the Wien's law. This one is meter Kelvin. So you have to put lambda. Lambda m you will get in meters. Temperature we have 2000. equals to 2.898 10 to the minus 3. So lambda m equals to is 1.449 10 to the power minus 6. Right to find Eb lambda max we will use the Planck equation. Only thing that we will replace lambda into t by this value of veins that is 2.898. So Eb lambda max equals to C1 into lambda to the power minus 1 divided by e to the power c2 and instead of lambda t we will use the maximum condition that is 2.898 10 to the power minus 3 minus 1 c1 c2 again you can use from calcium and you can obtain the value of eb lambda max so eb lambda max is 2.63 into 10 to the power 12 now suppose you want to calculate the maximum emissive power so that can be calculated by Stephen Boltzmann's law which is given by Eb equals to sigma into t to the power 4. Sigma is 5.67 10 to the power minus 8 and temperature is Kelvin is 2000 to the power 4. 
the maximum black body emission is 107.2 10 to the power 3 watts per meter square or is 907.2 kilowatt per meter square okay in this second question we have given a black surface at temperature equals to 115 so T equals to 115 you have to take temperature in Kelvin so plus 273 is 384 you want to calculate wavelength at which the monochromatic power is maximum that equals to lambda m and you want to calculate total emissive power of a black body that equals to eb so by wayne's law lambda m we want to find out temperature is 384 380 so lambda m come out to be 7.469 is it 10 to the power minus 6 minus 6 is meter so is 7.469 micron to find out the emissive power we will use Stephen Boltzmann's law that is EB equal to sigma into T to the power 4 sigma is 5.67 10 to the power minus 8 temperature is 388 to the power 4 1 to 8 5 white per meter square that are the only two requirements so we'll go to the next question in this case we are given the sun emits the radiation at lambda equals to what 0 0.52 micron they should be micron so lambda equals to 0 0.52 micron CVD equals to 1 Sun. you want to calculate surface temperature of sun and the emissive ability of sun surface you want to calculate emissive power of sun you also want to calculate the maximum monochromatic emissive power that is eb lambda law we have a lambda m and we treat this value equals to lambda m that is 0.52 a to 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by temperature is 2.898 into 10 to the power minus 3 so from this we can get the temperature of the sun this wavelength the temperature of the sun is 5573 now can we calculate emissive power with the help of Stephen Boltzmann's law which is given by sigma into t to the power 4 sigma is 5.67573 to the power 4 So the maximum EC power is 5.47 10 to the power 7 watt per meter square. This is approximately equal to 54.7 megawatts per meter square. Remember, it's a huge value. It is generating per meter square 54.7 megawatts. That is given by EB lambda max equals to C1 m into T. That is when constant minus 1. C1, C2 you collect from Kelsey. Lambda equals to 0.52 10 to the power minus 6. And lambda m into T is uh, 2.898 10 to the power minus 3. Find out 6.908 into 10 to the power 30. We want to calculate the following quantities of an industrial furnace, which is a black body emitting radiation at 2650. So we have temperature of 2650, that is 2923. The spectral emissive power at lambda equals to what? 1.2 micron. So lambda is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 6. And you want to calculate EB lambda. Maximum spectral emissive power. Is it EB lambda max? Total emissive power is EB. Lambda M also. That is the part B answer. And in second case he says that if it is a treated as a gray and diffuse body with emissivity equals to 0.9 that was the fifth part so for fifth part he want to calculate total emissive power that is e for general body that equals to epsilon multiplied by black 
we have e b lambda equals to c 1 lambda to the power minus 5 substitute lambda equals to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 e c 2 by lambda into t t equals to 2923 c 1 c 2 can collect from calci and subtract minus 1 from whole this quantity. So, monochromatic emissive power is 2.52 into 10 to the power 12 watt per meter square. Now, we will calculate E B lambda max. The only difference is that instead of lambda t, you have to use Wien's law constant that is 2.898. So, we have same equation that is C 1 lambda to the power minus 5 divided by E C 2. This one is lambda m into t minus 1. E B lambda max come out to be 1.05 10 to the power 12 whereas the graph shows E B lambda max is maximum. So, there exists only one value of lambda m and this value of E B lambda that was calculated as lambda equals to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 shows higher value of E B lambda max. This is practically not satisfying it violates which law the Planck's law. So, this university question is entirely wrong. This is a valid answer or this is not a valid answer? This is not a valid answer because Planck's law is not satisfied. The data itself is wrong. Let go for the next calculation that is what? Uh, second calculation that is wavelength at which the emissive power is maximum. So, for this use this Wien's law equation. In this case, we want to calculate the wavelength that equals to lambda m. Temperature you have to put as 2923 equals to 2.898 equals to so, lambda m is come out to be 9.91 10 to the power minus 7 meters or can be written as 0.991 10 to the power minus 6 meters is equals to 0.99 micro total emissive power of a black body. So, total emissive of a black body is given by E b equal to sigma into t to the power 4. The maximum emissive power of a black body is 4.13 this is a total emissive power is 4.13 10 to the power 6 watt per meter square. When we have a gray body emissive power is simply obtained by multiplying emissivity with the emissive power of black body. So, that equals 2.9 multiplied by 4.13 into 10 to the power 6. So, final answer is 3.71 10 to the power 6 watt per meter square or 3.717 megawatt per meter square.